we're gonna put our toes. To see how the ball moves around now? Here, the ball is stuck under my foot. When I put my toes, I can't put much, I, I don't have the ability to put much pressure on it, and so this ball is gonna move around much more unpredictably. And your job is to keep it still. Don't let it move. Hey guys, thanks for showing up. You know, it's funny, the videos that tend to have the most views are the ones about six pack abs, strong core, rock hard stomach, all those sorts of things. And I think that's pretty important. It also shows uh, how society tends to think. But if you're watching these videos about anti-flexion and anti-rotation, I want to applaud you for taking the smarter step towards good core training. Get away from sit-ups and crunches, get towards anti-rotation, anti-flexion training that'll strengthen your midsection, your lower back, and everything in between. What we've got here is we've got a medicine ball, we've got our push-up bars, we've got a stability ball. Now what I did with my stability ball is I made it rather soft. See how much give it has in it? That makes it much harder to work with. I'm gonna show you diff various different progressions of how to do some stuff. This is really all you need for every sort of core training that you could possibly ever need, all the variations thereof. This is a medicine ball, but this could be a soccer ball, a basketball, any sort of large ball that you've got. It doesn't have to be one of these two. Stability ball is a great investment because you can do a lot of other stuff with it. But we're just gonna start with minimal equipment. Let's say you've got an old basketball kicking around as substituted by this medicine ball. Once you put your ball in a nice stable position, depending on how you place your feet on the ball, make it easier or harder. Now once you've got the ball in a spot, what you can do is get into an elbows down plank position, and we're gonna put our laces on top of the ball. What that does is that allows you to put more pressure on the ball so it doesn't squeeze out the sides. This is the easier progression. Laces on top of the ball, hold the plank. And now you can do little things like pass it back and forth, left to right, slowly, to work a little bit of those obliques and more musculature, but by passing it a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, and I mean a little bit. You wanna keep that midsection straight and strong. You don't wanna start tweaking it and twisting it all over the place. But that's a good progression. Can be done with a basketball, can be done with anything. The next evolution to make it harder is to come up onto push-up bars. Previously, we were out on our elbows, which took some of the tension and rested it on our bones and on our joints. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our push-up bars, we're gonna stay up, and what this requires is nice um, contraction of all of these muscles from your biceps all the way up to your triceps towards your, your shoulders to keep your arms straight. And we're gonna put our toes on the ball. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our feet positioning to make this move even harder. We're gonna change the way our feet are resting on the ball and that changes everything. Previously we had our laces touching the ball now we're gonna put our toes touching the ball. And what this does, is this does not allow you to put much pressure on the ball and keep it locked out underneath. The ball's gonna have a mind of its own and it's gonna squirrel around, as you can see. <laughs> it's gonna squirrel around a lot more and be unpredictable. Then the next evolution of that would be get your push-up bars. Put your toes on the ball, and now you can pass it, whoa, you can pass it back and forth. Stay strong, stay upright, there. The next evolution is to use the stability ball. Now we're gonna go back to the first foot position by resting our laces on top of this. This puts more pressure on top of the ball, keeping it where it's going to be, because you know we're, we're, we're able to apply more pressure to keep it locked in here. When we change our feet grips and we put our toes, we're not applying as much pressure, so the ball has a freedom of moving around much more. We have to use our core to stabilize it more. So we're gonna show you the first progression. Laces are on the ball, down on our elbows, and you're here. And now if this is too hard, chalk the ball up more towards your shins. And now, more of my body weight is resting on this ball. Once you get a little more uh, fit, you can just roll the ball out down towards your shins. Once you've done that, roll the ball down towards your feet. And there it is. And now you can sort of pass it, whoa! <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. You can just push it to the right, and then push it to the left, and then push it to the right. 
The next evolution is to get your push-up bars. Same pattern, okay? We're gonna get our push-up bars here. We're gonna put our toes down on it. You know, we're outside, it's getting a little bit of a breeze, and the ground is also um, a little bit uneven because there's divots in the grass and stuff. All of these factors make it unpredictable. Your muscles have to adapt, and they have to control that, that load. Uh, it's a great thing. Let's say the next evolution is we're gonna go back down to elbows solid plank. We're gonna put our toes, to see how the ball moves around now? Here, the ball is stuck under my foot. When I put my toes, I can't put much, I, I don't have the ability to put much pressure on it, and so this ball is gonna move around much more unpredictably. And your job is to keep it still. Don't let it move. The next progression, we're gonna come up to our, use our push-up bars. Now, more muscles, more work. Okay, here's the move. Now let's say you wanna take it to the next evolution. You can do your push-ups with your feet on the stability ball. Now I don't advocate doing all of your push-ups with your feet on the stability ball, because sometimes it's nice to have a solid surface where you know that all you gotta worry about is just getting your push-ups out. It just makes things more complicated by having your feet on the ball, but it's a really good uh, tool to sort of throw into your mix and get it worked out. So the, the wind is gonna start taking this ball away, so I gotta get, I gotta get on this, I gotta quit chatting. So, we got our push-up bars here. We're gonna go toes, laces down first, okay? Hold the plank position at the top. Once you feel comfortable, do your push-up. Do your push-up. Do your push-up. And now by changing how our feet are on the ball is gonna make a whole new uh, intensity. Toes on the ball, okay? Get yourself ready. Toes on the ball. Push up. There. Stay strong. Push up. There. And that's it guys. Get yourself a medicine ball and a stability ball and some push up bars. Or you can use things you've already got around the house. Use a soccer ball. Use a basketball. Whatever it is that you got. Put your feet on it. Different foot uh, variations. And that's all you need for your core work. Thanks for showing up, guys.